What is going on everyone? This is Coast Series of the Thrills here as we are checking on into the Universal Orlando Resort today for another great visit that's going to come on by for uh, for today's visit here. And uh, today is actually uh, Saturday, March 30th, which is technically the day before Easter. So uh, we got here a little bit of a weird kind of timing around here, but we're going to see how today's visit goes on by. So uh, without further ado, uh, enjoy today's future presentation here at the Universal Orlando you. Resort. With some decision we decided to go to islands of adventures first for today's visit for our first park for today and uh, go to universal studios studios a little bit more later on but uh, we're going to head over to islands of adventures just to try to do what we managed we can do here because it is going to be slammed but uh we're gonna we're gonna try our best here and hopefully wish for the best here for the rides but uh we're of course going to give you any more updates that are going to be around here for islands of adventures so uh join along and uh, let's see what we can do now, I have no idea if this is a new thing, but actually uh, the chocolate pairing actually serves breakfast breakfast from 9 a.m. to uh, 10.30, or at least that time. I don't know if that's actually a new thing that they added right there, but that, that's actually uh, pretty interesting. But uh, we're going to make our way through through Islands of Adventure. It shouldn't be that bad to get in, so uh, let's do that right now. All right, so for the wait times for Universal's Islands of Adventure, we just made inside the park. Just uh, actually a brief, uh, just so the Amazing Adventures of Spider-Man is actually a 15-minute wait. Uh, see, Dr. Doom is a 10 minute wait. Uh, the Hulk is only at 35 minute wait right now. So, uh, I guess we should head over to uh, Marvel. Uh, Jurassic World Velocicoaster is like a 75 minute wait, but, uh, man, that's actually uh, pretty good. So, uh, we'll see what we can do. So, yeah, Hulk is 35 minute wait. Uh, let's see here. Uh, let's see how long uh, Hagrid's is. Uh, Hagrid's is a 180 minute wait. So, uh, it's kind of, uh, kind of, you know, the, the crowds are definitely there, but, uh, it's actually not too bad, but it's actually kind of there. But uh, yeah, Jurassic World Velocicoaster is 75 minutes, and the Hulk is 35. So we'll see what we do. Okay, we just did the Hulk, and uh, it was actually we did the single rider line. The single rider line went uh, very, very quick. And man, I got the, actually got the very back row on the Hulk, and it was actually uh, pretty intense. I actually got the back row. It was actually uh, very, very good that time. Okay, we were able to get the Hulk done, and uh, that was actually uh, pretty great for the very first Hulk concert for the day here. So uh, that was good. All right, so we're actually going to make a detour uh, this way over to uh, Seuss Landing just to see if we can do anything over here. And uh, hopefully, if we go in this uh, direction, we can hopefully over to the to uh, Jurassic World Velocicoaster and Hackers, hopefully, because I actually do hope I can actually get on those rides again, which would be great. So uh, we're going to go over there and uh, see what we can do over here. I'm over there for uh, Velocicoaster, so uh, stay tuned. All right, you see, you know what we're going to go to uh, next over here, as you can basically can see here for... Uh, Velocicoaster, but uh, hopefully the uh, the singer rider line is actually open. But it just it doesn't it just depends on how this actually is because I actually went in that line a couple of times and it wasn't like too bad, but uh, it does get bad as it goes on. But you can see Velocico Velocicoaster goes over there, and uh, we'll see if we can even ride the ride. And uh, should be interesting over here in a minute. Okay, we just did a uh, Jurassic World Velocicoaster on the singer rider line. It's actually good that we did that. It's now 120 minute wait for Velocicoaster right now, but uh, we did. Uh, we were able to do it, and uh, we got that out of the way for today, which was actually uh, pretty great. And uh, it was actually pretty good. So yeah, we did a uh, Velocicoaster, and uh, it was good right all together. And uh, we actually got the back row. I don't know what's up with the game the back row today. I got the back row on Hulk too, which was actually insane. But uh, I just got a Jurassic World Velocicoaster, and it ran pretty good. And uh, yeah. Hagrid's is currently a 155 minute wait as of this moment right now, so it's a little bit uh, too long there, so we're going to go to uh, Forbidden Journey and see how long that is, and uh, should be interesting. So Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey is actually a 60 minute wait, but we're actually going to do the single rider line and see how long that takes, so uh, let's go ahead and hop on the ride. Alright, just did uh, Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey it was actually uh, pretty good that time, you know, just uh, it was actually uh, pretty good uh, to say the least, so... Uh, Anyways, yeah, we just did that, and it's kind of crowded over here, so we'll get you in a minute. Well, that was a good thing we did. Uh, Velocicoaster right there went up to a 120-minute wait, and uh, yeah, it was, I guess that was a good. At least we got that right on today, so that was uh, pretty good. So we're going to head over to some more up, huge updates and see how it goes over here for some other for some other rides and stuff. So uh, 
We'll keep you updated and maybe something with the school, Skull Island Reign of Kong, but uh, we don't know yet, but uh, we'll go over there in a minute. All right, so we're about to do a Skull Island uh, Reign of Kong here, and they actually took out the 3D stuff, and we're actually gonna go on the ride just to see how it is without the 3D stuff. And I actually do hope there's actually a single rider line for this one. We're actually gonna go in the queue just to see for ourselves uh, what this will be here. So we're gonna have to go on the ride, and it uh, should be interesting. Universal doing they actually like taking back from the, like the 3D stuff so, like they did that with uh, Minion Mayhem over at Universal Studios like they are like taking it back a little bit for like taking out the 3D stuff but uh, they actually had to take out the 3D stuff it was okay I mean it's nothing like uh, it's like the same right but as usual but you know without the 3D stuff so it's not that's all you really need to know about it but uh, it was okay for uh, Skull Island Red Kong and uh, yeah. So I don't know if this might be a good decision or not but we're about to do a uh, Dilly Do Rides from Site Falls and uh, it just depends on the wait time. If it's like too terrible, then probably not. But I've actually I haven't rode this since I believe a very, in a very very long time. I have only rode this like once, and I haven't really uh, rode this in the daytime before. I rode it at night, I like by, for like one time. But uh, we're about to go over here and uh, see, and uh, hopefully, and uh, we'll see what happens. Well, that uh, did not go as expected. It was actually a 75 minute wait for Billy Do Right's Rift Site Falls. So. Uh, yeah, I don't know, man. That's a little bit too long, but uh, yeah, we're gonna head over and uh, see what we can do here. And uh, we're actually currently in Toon Lagoon right now. So, uh, all right. So a little bit of an uh, update. We just we were gonna try to do Popeye and Bluetooth, but that was actually a 45 minute wait. You know, we decided not to do it anyways, and we actually tried to do uh, Billy Do Right Rip Ripside Falls in the last clip, but that really didn't go well at all either, just because of how it was. But uh, we're gonna go over here and uh, hopefully and see if there's any more updates we'll get you that so uh anyways so one thing i forgot to mention that uh, area building right there is actually for the uh for the past member lounge but uh the last time we actually uh, did that it was actually uh it was actually uh we actually did it but uh we didn't really uh, showcase it but now it's actually closed so we can't even show showcase that but uh yeah we're running over back into marvel as we first started over here and uh we are hopefully going to get some more rides over here but uh, we'll see what happens Alright, so uh, we're going to head over here and uh, see how long the Amazing Adventures of Spider-Man is. And uh, by the looks of it, uh, it's actually a 45 minute wait, but uh, we're going to see what we can do here. And uh, I actually think, I actually think the, uh, the Single Rider line is actually open for uh, Spider-Man right there. So uh, I think we're going to do this. Alright, so uh, scratch that idea, we just did uh, Doctor Doom instead of uh, Spider-Man. So. Uh, yeah, we're, we were going to do Spider-Man, but we just uh, went over here anyways just because it was a 15-minute wait, I guess. But uh, I guess we can do Spider-Man another time because we already uh, did that. But uh, yeah, we just did that and uh, it was good. All right, we have made it to uh, Universal uh, Studios and the wait time's here as of this current moment. Uh, just speaking of only, Man in Mayhem is actually a 45-minute wait. E.T. is a 25-minute wait. Uh, Fast and Furious Supercharge is actually a 35-minute wait. And uh, it's not like too bad, the crowds are kind of died down a little bit here, so it's not like too bad like it was before, but uh, so there's actually a performers out here for uh, Mardi Gras, you can see with all this crazy stuff, but uh, yeah, anyways. So it looks like there's going to be a Universal Studios uh, Mardi Gras parade, we're going to start here about very, very shortly here, so uh, as you see, the Morris Centicular, I think, is uh, closed for the day, I believe, I'm not too sure what it is, but could be there, so uh, we're going to go over here and... Uh, we are actually starting over this side over here for today for Universal Studios. So we're going to go hover in uh, this area and uh, just see what happens and uh, just uh, relax here for a little bit and uh, see what happens for the parade and stuff. So it uh, should be interesting. All right, so uh, here's something interesting that I can see for uh, DreamWorks Land. There's actually a lot of updates over here. There's actually like some, uh, I don't know if you can actually want to go over here just to uh, see real quick around here. And um, there's actually like some stuff that's actually been done over here. And uh, as you can see, if you can get a better view, there's actually like some kind of like a bridge that actually connects from the area. I think you can actually walk on it, which, which is actually pretty interesting. But you kind of see there's like some uh, spider web that's actually right there for the for the troll uh, for the trolls uh, roller coaster right over there. As you can see with the some of the stuff over there, I'm, I am going to try to get a good view of it here in a minute to see what we can do. But that looks uh, pretty neat, awesome that they actually. Uh, uh, that what it looks like over there. It looks uh, pretty cool. So uh, I don't know how we can actually see it on the GoPro over here, but it actually looks uh, pretty nice. But uh, 
We're trying to get a shot here in a minute, so uh, it should be interesting. All right, we just did uh, ET not too long ago, and it was actually, uh, you know, just uh, good stuff. I don't know if I can really showcase it. I mean, if I reach it high enough, I don't know if I can, but maybe some other time. But uh, it was uh, pretty good for ET altogether. We're going to head over to uh, Men in Black Alien Attack. There's actually a parade. There starts around uh, 7.30 there, and the time right now is about 7.04. So there's still quite some time before the parade starts for uh, Mardi Gras right there. So uh, anyways... Alright, we just did a Men in Black Alien Attack. I actually got about a good majority of the points I just did right there. Singer Rider Line really came in handy when I did that. And it was uh, really, really worth it for a Men in Black Alien Attack. We just got off the ride. And it was actually uh, pretty good. So now, uh, let's see what time is it. It's around 7.35, so I believe the Mardi Gras parade, starts, parade started already. Which is probably going on over there with all that music. So I don't know if we, if we can do it today, but... Uh, well, we tried, but, uh, anyways. Now, one question I do have is what's going to happen with this big building right here, the, this building right here? It's been closed for the longest of time, and I don't really know what's going to go on with it. I know it's been used for Nightmare Fuel for Halloween Horror Nights for 2023, but, uh, I don't know what's going to go on with this, uh, big building right here, you know? It's just, uh, empty and nothing to do with it, so I, who knows what's going to happen to it in the future, but hopefully something, because I, I just don't like seeing stuff just, just, uh, sitting out here, like, with nothing, which is, uh, you know, which is weird, but, uh, anyways. Alright, so we're here in, uh, Diagon Alley just to see how long, uh, Harry Potter escaped from Greenhouse. It's a 40-minute wait. I mean, it could be worse. Did that have to do it? I don't know, but it's a 40-minute wait for, uh, Harry Potter is in the, uh, escape from Gringotts right now, so, uh, uh, should we do it? Uh, Single Rider Line is actually open, but, uh, we're about to see if we're going to go on the right, so uh, we'll keep you updated what happens. Alright, we just did uh, Harry Potter and the Escape from Green Mouse. Uh, we did the single ride line. It was actually a pretty decent wait time right there, so it was actually not even that bad. Uh, waiting in the, in the line right there. It was actually a 40-minute uh, wait, but we just took the single rider line. Maybe wait about like, maybe like 10, maybe a 15-minute wait. Uh, nothing like too, bit, too bad right there. So, uh, yeah, we just got off the right and uh, it was pretty good. And it looks like there's actually a show going on over here. And you can't tell it's already kind of nighttime already right here, but you can't see there's actually like a show going on over there. So that's actually uh, pretty interesting uh, what's going on. So, uh, interesting. All right, so there's actually some uh, renovation that's actually still going on over here for the Universal Studios stuff for the... Uh, for the restrooms over here, but you can still go in the restrooms, but they have a huge renovation thing that's going on. I don't really know what's uh, really going on with it, but uh, uh, pretty interesting. All right, so uh, we're gonna head over to Revenge of the Mummy. The Mardi Gras parade is actually currently going on over here, so it's not hard to tell what we can do. You see, they have the stuff, people cleaning it all up and stuff, so uh, I, don't know, I don't know what's gonna happen, but uh, we'll see. Okay guys, we just did Revenge of the Mummy not too long ago. It was actually uh, pretty good. I got, uh, We actually uh, were able to do that. But that was actually our final ride of the night here just because it was actually uh, yeah, it was actually pretty good. The rest of the wait time, we went over to uh, Hollywood Rip Ride Rocket. That was actually a 16 minute wait. And uh, yeah, that's basically just what it was there. So yeah, because the going from Minion Blast actually has some stuff up over here, which looks uh, pretty nice that they actually uh, did that right there. And. Uh, yeah, I don't know about Villain Con, but uh, we'll see you in a minute, but probably not going to do it just because of how it is, but uh, it is kind of nighttime around here, so uh, we'll see what we'll do. Well, guys, you can see it from the Universal Globe. I guess we are going to head out of the park. It was actually, night has fully fallen here, too, for Universal Orlando Resort as well, so uh, it was a good visit that I actually went on by today. We, we, if you've seen the video, we were able to get a lot of uh, done in today's visit, so, which was actually... Uh, pretty great but I can see with the classic Universal Globe which is actually right there which is always good to see and uh, we're gonna head out of the park so uh, I'll get the though it was a pretty good day overall well I guess I'll be doing here for Universal Orlando Resort if you like what we do here for coasters of the thrills uh, make sure to subscribe hit that bell notification for any other future uploads uh, that will come out in the future but uh, till then this is uh, coasters of the thrills we will hopefully catch you later on for soon for more parks which was which this was a good day so uh, until then, this is uh, Coasters of the Thrills. I'm out.